Should be a lot quicker than the way in. That should be a lot quicker than the way in. But I think over this way, we've got a little something that we can go look at. Not only do we have the stuff that we kept on dying before we actually looked at. I will go and get that in my off time because we saw that earlier. But over here, we've got something much more important to go and check out. I imagine this is the dev intended route. Possibly uh, they also intended some people to come down and beat these guys up the first time. But now that I've got all my special abilities and I know how to fight... I think we can come down here and get the item that is... I don't even know if it's an item. It smells worse than Grease does. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Can I Can I fix him? We're going to shock him out. We're going to go... Oh, oh that, that was terrible. That's how we do it. Beautiful. I'm just going to... Oh, no. Ah, I was going to say I'm just going to dodge and a slash. But it turns out my big slash... That takes force powers that I don't have. This guy, oh no, time to move, time to move. Which button was it to, uh, to heal? I wish I could remember. Ah, oh. let's try again. <laughs> I'm assuming the developer intended us to go over, get all our powers before coming back and facing this guy again. I'm sure they also intended for people to face this guy down first time, but I was not good enough gaming at that. Can we get a little bit of light going on? Thanks very much. So we need to now come and face... Oh, this slimy horror down here. like to think that this is the dev intended route where we go out we get all our powers and we come back to face the big bad guy that we had trouble with when we first discovered them earlier on i'm sure also the uh, the devs at respawn thought that some people would go through and fight him first time but look we got we got this scary boy this time okay i'm just gonna do that jump around give it a bit of this get out of there do one of, no do one of these get out of there again um, which one's the heal button? That's probably something that I should try and figure out. Um, but right now, not that bothered. Not that bothered as long as he doesn't hit me a couple of times again. Uh, okay, so this is the one where I need to go and find the heal button if I can get away from everything that's happening. Oh my gosh, what? I'd like to think that this is the dev intended route where you come, you face a big bad guy earlier on, you find out that you're just not good enough to fight him, go off and get a bunch of like Jedi superpowers and then come back and face the big guy who was giving you a bunch of troubles earlier. Oh man, he is giving me a bunch of troubles. Uh, hey, I've got I've got stuck in a whole bunch of stuff. No wonder I can't play this game. I get stuck in the scenery. Oh my God. All right, we're just going to kind of run in here like this. We're going to now uh, attack to him. Yeah, so I'm going to do a big... Big hit and then drive away. Okay, that that's a thing right there. Okay, good good slicing. Good slicing. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, let's take a heal. Let's take a heal if we can. What the hell, man? How am I supposed to heal? Okay, as you may have been able to tell by my attitude coming into this, I thought this fight was going to be a lot easier than what I just faced. Okay, so we're going to come in. We're going to try a... Uh, <clears throat> we're going to try it much harder. I'm going to remember that my force powers are a thing. Uh, we're going to fix. We're going to do that. We're going to dive around as much as we can. And we're going to do this and get my stuff. Okay, that's good. We're going to once again do one of these and keep moving around as much as possible. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Four dodges. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I'm not doing amazing. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down with the scomplink. Oh, how... Oh, man. Jeez. Trying to run away is very hard. So the only thing that I'm thinking I'm not taking advantage of is the parry. The parry will probably buy me some time to heal. I'm, just, I'm not very good at it. I'm just not very good at it. Hey, Aldo, how you doing there, buddy? Yeah, like that. Okay, it's good so far. We're probably going to have to do this pretty quietly. If I can't get out of here, that'd be... How do I... How do I not? Oh, my God. How... 
So this fight has become a lot harder than the other ones that we were facing out and about. I don't think you can get through this door. Okay, so let's try and think about how we're going to deal with this. Dive through. Take us... Or not. Hey, dude, 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 dude. Just... Okay, I've got my life force and XP. I really am trying to escape from the corner here. Given the quality we had of the combat from the other guys, I really thought this particular combat was going to be a little bit easier than this. Okay, dive. Give him one of those. Get out of there, buddy. Give him another one and then get out of here again. Not that way. Okay, off to the side. Oh, man, all of that was silent. And I apologize, but uh, man, that was tough. That was beyond tough. Uh, get in with one of those. Go in. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 How am I even here? Okay, today's plan, just parry. I'm just going to parry and block him and see what happens then. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not sure what else I can do to be fair. I've got to stop using the, the, the dodge key when I mean to block as well. That That is really not helping. So what am I supposed to do about those hits? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so block and hit seems to be a good a good combination. If I can keep out of the way of the red stuff, that would be a lot better. Okay, my new action is just to dodge and parry all the time. Let's do one of those and then we can do that. Get my stuff back and then three hits and dodge. No, it turns out three hits are not the dodge. Maybe two. What can't... Get off my bum. What is going on? Hey guys, Editing Twitchy here. At this point, Live Twitchy kind of gave up with the commentary. I've got to be honest here, I knew that there was a skill set that I was missing and I knew that I would have to practice it pretty hard. So what's going to follow here is the edited highlights. It's not even the highlights. Edited every fight of the next sort of hour's worth of gameplay that I did here. I hope you enjoy. Like I say, all I know right now is that I need to, like, right now as in now in the past, is that I needed to practice and build up my, my muscle memories, my new skill set, uh, learning when to judge his animations and stuff like that. So we're going to watch the next few fights. I'm not sure exactly how many fights that is, but the next few fights of me learning to block duck and uh, take my well-timed swipes. Block more. Block. I've uh, left the original pass me recordings running on this as well, so you might hear me muttering to myself about how I need to block more or use my force powers or learn where the heal button is. All of these mutterings do happen. So yeah, sit back and enjoy the next 10 minutes or so of me smashing my face against Ogdo Bogdo here and losing terribly. Probably a good time to talk about the tactics that are running through my brain whilst I'm trying to do this. So at the moment, I've only really got the idea of run in, slow him down, try and get some slashes in and then start blocking somehow. Now, because I've been playing this as a Let's Play and I haven't really had a chance to, like, stop and look around, at least at this point in the game, I haven't noticed things like the block meter. You see that little grey line above my force meter that disappears to red? Yeah, I didn't know that that was a thing at the time. There were quite a few other things that I didn't know as well about the game. Uh, for instance, in the next couple of fights, I'm going to be experimenting with the dodge a little bit more. But you'll see that I am diving everywhere. And I've recently found out that the dive animation, oh, it's rubbish. It's horrible. In fact, by the time I have learned how to fight this guy properly, I've figured out 
that diving is not the way. You can do um, just a single tap on the on the B button for me anyway on my Steam controller, uh, and it does just a little sidestep as opposed to the roll. And the sidestep leaves you instantly available to make a uh, next attack, whereas the roll you got to stand back up, you got to gather your wits, you got to find out what's going on, right? Just just like you would do in a real life. So yeah, that, that's another thing that I'm failing there. <laughs> One other thing that I didn't know that I ended up uh, finding out and, and is helping me in the future is that Ogdo Bogdo there very well armoured on his face region. You've got to kind of like try and get round the sides if you want to do any serious damage. Um, so yeah, that, that's something I should have really known. we're talking about things that I'd wish I'd known at the time. It turns out there's a little, I don't, I'm not going to call it an Easter egg or a special move or something. Uh, my man Tommy, all right Tommy, how are you doing? Told me that if I had been quick, I could have actually sliced his tongue off right here with the great big overhand smash, you know, that, that first force power we bought. Uh, so yeah, I would have, I'd have loved to have known that beforehand, loved to have got that on video, me cutting his tongue off. But you know, he's dead now, so I guess we're kind of stuck in the situation that we are dealing with. Oh man, he takes I down my one. health so quickly. And trying to do the heals, of course, takes valuable animation time. So, But you can see that, like, yeah, I'm kind of doing alright. I've got his health halfway down, I've done two heals, and then he just comes in and absolutely destroys me before I even know what's going on. That was kind of the main story for the majority of these fights. me putting down my controller at the end of almost every single one of these fights and i do have to point out it is putting it down like it would make a lot noise lot uh, louder noise if i was like putting it down um but that's because this is one of the few games that i've played in a long long time that's actually made my hands sweat whilst holding that controller i am like oh i am thinking about this hard and it's making my my nervous system fire off or whatever oh this fight was quite interesting this is one of the ones where i'd figured out that the uh, the doorway was possibly some sort of safe haven so i could use it as a bit of a break to, uh, to dive out, get, get a bit of a breather myself, maybe do a heal if needed. Oh, but one of the rare parries that I actually managed to break out there. Uh, yeah, this is probably one of the better fights, one of the ones that I'm a little bit more proud of. I use tactics rather than just going through stuff, going through the motions to see what would work. But of course, that's what this entire actual practice session was all about, was just trying different things. I don't think I did this one uh, too often because I, I just felt like it was more a postponement of the inevitability rather than actually buying me some uh, some actual strategy points. Uh, you can see, again, we are down to about a third of Ogdo's health there, and I am relatively healthy, getting the idea to run behind him. That's pure blind luck at this moment. I'm, I'm just trying to dive out the way of his face to hit him uh, because the face is the bit that does me damage, right? Not because I know that there's anything special going on there. If I'd really thought about it hard, I could have probably worked it out, but, um, you know, there was a lot of dying going on at the time. <laughs>
So this fight coming up was probably the one where I felt the most proficient with the role. I'd already been doing it for about 40 minutes here, and uh, I was starting to de develop a, a nice little opening move where I jump in, I slow him down, I give him a couple of slashes to the face, and then I kind of like dive at his tail, because that is by far the safest place to be. Again, getting away from the sharp bits at the front, because that, that's the only way to really deal with it. And it's definitely this sort of fight where I'm starting to realize how slow the roll is. You can see that every time I roll, I come up swinging my lightsaber because I'm expecting him to be close and also similarly staggered, but only for a very short amount of time that I'm, that like my roll finishes and his stagger finishes, you know? There, there, there's a very narrow window there. Whereas if I was just ordinarily dodging, it'd be quite a wide window. Also, I'd like to take a moment here on this respawn screen to uh, tell the game that I don't appreciate it telling me that the game's too hard for me and I should turn it down. All right, I've already made my decision. This is where we're going to live, all right? Uh, we, we can turn it down down to easier, I suppose, but i just got to learn a new system. It just takes me a while. I'm not, not as young and quick at learning as I used to be, you know, right? And as I've said a couple of times, actually, in the proper episodes, and I'm going to reiterate on here, the camera control system on this game is probably the, the bit... I was in a conversation earlier talking about the flawed combat system. I was like, actually, the combat system itself is pretty good. The camera system, though, that's where I think the flaw comes in. I seem to have incredible difficulty keeping the, uh, the target kept on that guy. I don't know what it is I'm doing. Obviously, something to do with the way I'm handling my steam pad is not working out. But this is the one where I, uh actually hit the table because I'd had enough at this point. So, IRL next day this time. I've taken a little bit little bit of a break, and I've got to say, it's probably a very good idea for anyone out there struggling with any sort of combat system like this. If you're trying to learn a new system, uh, just, for me, this is a new system. It's always good to uh, take a step away and let your brain just kind of percolate and defrag through, figure out all the new things that you need to do. And of course, bear in mind, that you will need to warm back up afterwards because coming at it fresh again, you you are fresh. It does take you a little bit of time. But you can see that I'm uh, at fighting a little bit smarter right now. I'm backing off a lot more. I'm doing little hops to the side. I'm not diving anywhere near as much. I'm constantly holding up my guard. Though I do have to say I have a little bit of a problem with this game where I feel like I'm holding my guard up and it doesn't do so. I've got a feeling I've actually hit the guard key a little bit too early in the animation cycle, but I, I still feel like it should be like buffered for the next one rather than being completely Stim. ignored. Almost every time that I seem to use any uh, stims in this fight, it, it backfires on me pre pretty strongly, pretty strongly. It just leaves a wide open window for Ogdo here to jump at me. Uh, not not that I don't leave my own windows wide open anyway. I'm like, I'm like the guy on the street who like uh, has the fancy computer in the in the window uh, on the windowsill with the actual window itself wide open, no locks, and right on the street front, you know. But yeah, he also seems to uh, like getting me into the corner. It's uh, one of the places where I struggle because suddenly my camera doesn't line up. Uh, as as much as I have troubles with cameras anyway, that is literally just a spacing issue, and I need to kind of like sort sort it out myself get myself out of the corner because there's a, even in real fights that is something that you need to do once you find yourself up on the ropes up against the wall in a corner whatever it is uh, life becomes very hard for you i just want to start, well, quickly also point out that, that was a, a successful healing stim there without actually getting me into trouble of course all in all it didn't really pay out for much in the end Okay, this is it. This is the one. First thing I'd like to point out is how much of a struggle I'm having just hitting him this first time. I'm doing pretty well on the old uh, blocking and dodging, so I'm doing okay. I am immediately down to half health, though. Uh, this uh, 
definitely one of my problems that I have in the game. I don't seem to be able to function in combat unless I've lost at least half of my health. As you can see, that immediately happened again, and I'm like, no, no, I am so close to death at this point. But hey, at least I've managed to hit my first strike on, right? Uh, so doing a little bit of do dodging and diving again. I I once again, I feel like I'm uh, d diving a little too much rather than just stepping out of the way. But at this point, it doesn't really matter because I am stim. fighting for my life. That little weird foot pattern he's got when I call, the call for the stim is very weird. But, you know, I suppose... That's what happens when you try and slow stuff down. Uh, they don't want to give me too much of a vibe being able to heal and move at the same time, I should imagine. Lots of red unblockable attacks coming out here, but I seem to be doing quite well at damaging, uh, sorry, dodging them. Uh, not doing so well at the blocking. I still haven't quite figured out that his second attack is uh, stronger than his first. Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, I knew I'd eventually get it! Oh, it only took me an hour and 15 minutes! Whoa. 